Joseph yes. Lawrence Lacha. Yes, Joseph Lawrence Lacha. And uh, we're putting these loose in Dongobesh. Yeah. Is it a school or? It's, it's community. It's the oh, it's a community. Yeah. This is where they're making the, the loose. These are in construction. He's working on one here now. The loo receptacle has to come up through the, the plywood, not underneath it. And the setback has to be four centimeters or an inch and a half. It has to be centered. So we found the correct size containers here, the 20 liters, at, down at the market. Now we're going to have a demonstration one made completely to the correct specifications. And then they're going to go and retrofit all these existing ones here uh, so that they're correct. The head office of policeman here, the officer, he's already give us go ahead to introduce this system to the village. So now we can go straight away back to Dongobesh to introduce the system to village and community to use this new system, dry compost toilet. Same up. It's built its village office okay. and uh, behind me there are two people. Uh, the one is chairman of this village, the second one is the government officer okay. of this village. So they are waiting for us to present about dry compost toilet. This man is chairman officer of this village. And his name? His name is Joseph Just Fat, Fat Paolo. Just Fat. Just Fat. Yeah. Just Fat Paolo. Just Fat, okay. Yeah. The second one is the government officer. Yeah. And his name? His name is Isaiah. Those are the people inside. Their sticks are out here. So I'm just going to go in here and take a quick look. Oh, yeah. We got a whole gang of people in here. Thank you very much. This is uh, my first time in Tanzania. It's a beautiful country. And the people are beautiful. So what I'm here for is to introduce a new type of toilet. It's a very simple and inexpensive toilet. It's ecological. It's also uh, beneficial for public health. It's also a recycling toilet. There's no waste involved in the toilet system. The toilet uh, was introduced about 20 years ago, 25 years ago in the United States. So it's new. It's not an old thing. It's a new type of toilet. <laughs> Since I introduced this toilet system, 25 years ago, these toilets are now being used around the world. The nice thing about this toilet is if you manage it correctly, there's no odor. And the toilet is portable, can be put any place. So, so the toilet can be inside your house. It can be inside your bedroom next to your bed. So if you have trouble walking or something like that, the toilet is more convenient because it, it's nearby. Uh, the toilets, uh, as I said, are simple, so they don't need electricity or drains or vents, anything like that. And you can build your own, you don't have to buy them. And I personally have used this type of toilet for 40 years straight. 40. 40? 40. I did not know that this guy's a comedian. <laughs> um, so we just started introducing these toilets in Africa about two years ago. So we have them in Kenya and in Uganda. In Tanzania now. Nasasa, go Tanzania. We'll be next. Going to Nairobi. We so uh, all we do is introduce the toilet system, you decide whether you want to use it or not. Uh, one nice thing about this toilet is you can use it for the rest of your life, and it doesn't cost anything, really. And finally, the last thing I want to say is uh, that uh, I'm a volunteer, I get paid nothing to do this, Ruth is a volunteer, 
she gets paid nothing, and we both fund our own expenses. Thank you. I thank you. Thank you. Kwa hiyo sio msaada wake tu. Tunataka kusaidia pia shamba. Gajeri haimoles. The meeting with the village elders is now over. It took about an hour. Uh, the oldest person here was 95. Uh, most of them are elderly and a lot of them have disabilities so they can't walk very well. There's a couple guys in there that have, can't even come out the door. Um, and there's another guy inside who can't walk at all. He just crawls. So I don't know what they do for toilets, but um, I think they'd benefit from a toilet right by their bed. Okay, this is uh, Joseph Lawrence Lodge's house. This is his lovely sister. This is his aunt. Aunt. And she's uh, handicapped. And so she can't really go outside to the toilet. They just use this. So we're, we're going to put our first loo here for, uh, for Joseph's aunt. This is Joseph's mother, and this is her room. She lives in this room by herself, yes. right? Yeah. So there's a bed, and there's if we move some stuff around here, she can put a, a loo probably right in here or anywhere on this wall. And just so you know, when you put a loo in, yeah. you need space when you take a receptacle out. Yeah. You can either put it outside okay. or set it here by the okay by the loo yeah. so you might want to leave some space so that when you take one out you, you can have an empty one beside it okay an empty container yeah. plus a cover material container you have to allow space for both of those you don't have to take the container out when it's full and put it in the compost you take it out when it's full and put it someplace out of the way and when you have time yeah. you can then put in the you can put we, I, I'll put 15 in the compost at one time, up in my business. Okay. You can just let them collect when you have time. Uh, usually at, at home, I'll empty two to four at a time. Okay. So uh, it's just, uh, you, you want it to be convenient. You don't want to, when your toilet's full, you want to just be able to swap an empty container. And then, and then deal with it later. You don't have to deal with it right then. It could be raining, it could be the middle of the night, you know. All right, this is the house we just came out of here with the, we're, we're gonna put the three toilets in. They're using um, sawdust from a furniture shop. So the sawdust is dry and we wanna rehydrate it to some degree. So we're gonna dump it here in a pile and let the rain rehydrate it and reactivate it. And then right beside it here, we're going to put a little wire bin. We're going to throw up a wire bin and then they'll be good to go. So we're going to put the first bin here, right? All right. So what you want to do is you want to dish it out on the bottom a little bit. Like this. Okay, you see how it's a little yeah. Dished in there with a rim around it. Yeah. That's the bottom of the compost bin. We just made a little circle with the wire. We're connecting it. Mm -hmm. uh, we're just going to put some stakes in here to provide some uh, rigidity or structure to it so it doesn't collapse. Then we're going to start the compost pile. Uh, and we're going to dump the cover material back in the corner here and pile it up. So it can sit out in the rain and, and, and get rehydrated and reactive, re, re, 
biologically active again. Okay, we're starting a new compost bin here. So it's just a shallow bowl. It doesn't have to be deep. So if excess water goes into the bin, it, w it won't leak out the side. It just stays in the center and soaks into the ground underneath. So that's why we start the bin with this little bowl on the bottom. They got the bowl dished out, the dirt around the side. Now they're putting the wire in and they're going to put the stakes around it to just give it some support. Okay, I guess they got it done. That's what it looks like. Wire, sticks, extra cover material. You're going to use weeds and, you know, weeds and leaves and grass. You want to save all that sawdust for only in the house. Okay. Just I just put a little bit in there, uh, just for the heck of it. But you don't you don't need any in there at all. Okay. It's going to go in there when you empty the toilet okay. containers. Okay. This material here now is yes. too dry. Yes, sure. It needs to have some moisture in it. Uh, bacteria don't have legs. Yeah. They don't walk. Yeah. They swim. Okay. And if there's no moisture in that. They have, they don't reproduce very well. So you, you want to just leave that sit there, let it get rained on, and then take that in the house and use that for your cover material. Right now, the stuff you're putting in there is dry. You can sprinkle water on it just to dampen it. You don't have to pour water in it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So out here, it doesn't matter. You don't, you don't want to worry about the, the, the moisture content of the cover material. Only in the house. For the toilet, because that's where you want to. You want to. Here, you can throw a bunch of leaves and weeds on it, okay. and that'll cover up the odor, prevent the odor. But in the house, you can't do that. You're only using that. So you want that to have some some residual moisture in it to keep the air from passing through. That's all. This looks like an outhouse here. Uh, you can see there's a, the hole there. Probably those stones are for standing on. I don't know if it's working or not. <laughs> yeah, that was working. These people from our village here, the area called Dongobesh, in the small village called Arsha, they are here to to receive the message or introduction about uh, how to use dry compost toilet. So we are here for that. And how far away do they live? How far have they come? Uh, they are within one kilometer up to two kilometers okay. they come from. Okay. Yeah, the distance from here. So here is the center of community place where they are doing meeting. Oh, okay, so this tree kind of marks the spot, huh? Yeah. Lengo ni nini? Kwa nini watu wote? Utasaidia kujaza haraka, utasaidia ile tuma yako ijaya haraka. Family, friends, anybody can use the same yeah. toilet. Hata rafiki, friends, anakuja nyumbani, kaza urio, toroni ya dima, unamjua daba ra chumba re, sidei ka. Sidei ka. Wait! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>